Hi my little jewels, welcome back to my channel. So uh, as you could tell by the story, the title of this video, it is going to be a scary story time. Now this is new for me. I usually film these videos outside and if you've seen any of my paranormal stories, which I will go ahead and link a playlist down below. So if by the time you're done watching this, you're in the mood to binge watch creepy stories, definitely click that link below. I have a bunch of stories, but you'll notice that I film almost all of them except the first one outside. And the reason being is because all throughout my life here and there, it's never been a constant like, oh my gosh, I've, you know, it's been there my whole life, but I've had some creepy things happen. And I've always noticed that when I talk about scary things, when I watch a lot of scary things, it almost makes more happen and I'm not really sure if it's kind of when you talk about it it attracts those things or maybe you know when you're focused on it can your mind play tricks I'm really not sure what it is I kind of think it's more um, the more you talk about something like that the more it attracts them because they want attention entities ghosts spirits whatever but the first paranormal video I ever recorded was the only other time I've ever filmed in my house and within the first five minutes of me talking my TV turned on by itself and it turned on to hocus pocus and it was caught like on camera which it was funny because at that time I had told Jesse my creepy stories but he was kind of just like oh yeah he didn't really believe me and I like ran out in the living room I was like the TV turned on by itself like I'm not freaking kidding and he was like yeah right I was like I swear to god I caught it on video so after that he was like I believe you don't record those in the house anymore so I have not been but it's really hot and there really hasn't been much paranormal activity going on in this house uh, a few little things which I'll talk about at the end of my story but anyways we're trying out filming in the house let's see how it goes obviously if something happens it'll either get caught while I'm filming this or I will tell you guys about it so yeah but happy October! It's the season of scary stories and I figured I would tell you guys about a haunted apartment that I lived in for a few years when I was really little. I think I was, I don't know, six or seven? No, more like six, I think. When we first moved into this apartment and it was just my mom and I. My parents had gotten a divorce and so my mom and I moved in an apartment which I went back and forth between my mom and my dad's house. So I didn't live in this house all the, or apartment all the time. Now, now, unlike a lot of my other story times where I vividly remember like timelines, I remember a lot of it, this one I don't really remember so much a timeline like oh this first this happened then this happened then this happened I just remember kind of specific things little things here and there so I'll just go ahead and tell you about them uh, the first thing is so this apartment was well known haunted to the point where my mom would out loud say like you know hey we hear you go away you know you're not welcome here or I think sometimes she would even be kind of nice and just say like hey thanks for stopping by but we're okay keep moving on and I've mentioned before in a couple of my other videos as well that you know my mom kind of has experienced some things as well so yeah it was like a known thing that apartment was haunted now some things that happened first thing is that closet had some weird things going on I did tell a story about a closet that I had at my dad's house that it was more scary like not good haunting which this apartment I feel like it was more of maybe like a either friendly poltergeist or maybe a child spirit even I have a cousin who she's very in tune with the paranormal and I asked her a while ago a long time ago I was like hey remember that apartment my mom and I used to live in did you think it was haunted and I think she remember her saying something like yeah I sensed a little boy there and so as you hear the story you'll understand that that makes total sense so anyways my closet a lot of times I would wake up and my closet light would be on I'd always kept the door shut cuz there was a little hair <laughs> I had always kept the door shut cuz I was always creeped out by 
closets, who's not? And sometimes the light would be turned on by itself and you know, I'd ask my mom, did you turn it on? And she would say no. Another thing that happened a lot were doors would open and close by themselves. Sometimes we would hear them. My mom and I would be out in the living room and we'd hear one of our doors shut. Or a lot of times my mom and I would either shut our door and we'd go back 20 minutes later and it'd be open or vice versa. That happened a lot. Another thing that happened a few times that I remember is okay I'm gonna show you guys kind of the layout of our apartment in a bird's eye view so what you're seeing pretend like you're above it seeing the layout that way so my room was about right here and my mom's room was kind of next to it right here and it extended this way my room kind of stopped here and hers extended a little further because we had a little back porch area here that we shared well, we both had doors too but on the other side of the wall here was nothing it was stucco and we lived on the second floor so you couldn't hear anything down below or anything like that and a lot of times I'd be in my room and I would hear my mom in her room just I wouldn't hear specific voices or anything like that or my mom's voice necessarily I would just hear kind of commotion like as if I she was in her room and so if I'd have to go ask or something I'd run into room and be like mom mom and she would be in the kitchen which okay so here's my room here's her room the kitchen was over here on the complete opposite side of the apartment and she would be in the kitchen and say I'm over here and I would say I thought I heard you in your room and my mom never kind of I don't know she was really good about it she never really was like ooh, like it could be this but at the same time she would never say like oh no you probably heard things she wouldn't make excuses either because I know she experienced things there as well so that happened a few times that I remember also going back to the toy thing my toys would always be moved around and I remember two specific instances uh, one time I had a zebra beanie baby remember when beanie babies were popular like this video if you used to collect them too but I had a zebra one that I was just obsessed with at the time and I would just bring it with me everywhere and one day I couldn't find it and I was like mom have you seen my zebra and she was like no and you know we looked everywhere and so at that point I thought okay maybe I left it at a friend's house because our apartment was not very big it was pretty small so we searched the whole apartment and could not find it and about I don't know an hour or two later I went to the bathroom and there it was this is a perfect example okay so the toilet was here and there was a sink here it was sitting right here on the edge of the counter like looking at me set up almost like my mom had set it up you know what I mean so I went to my mom I was like mom where did you find it and she was like I did not find your zebra and I showed her and I was like mom look where it was it was right here so that was pretty freaky another specific thing I remember with the toys is okay so I would go on the weekends up to my dad's house and my mom had friends and they had um, some kids her age and sometimes they would come over and you know play with my stuff while I was at my dad's if I wasn't there which I totally didn't mind but there would be a lot of times I would come back from my dad's house and specifically I had one of those huge plastic doll houses with the little plastic dolls that like their knees bent and their arms bent and there was like a mom a dad and I think there was like twin kids or something like that but I loved playing with it I played with it all the the time and I would set them up every time like I'd be done playing I would set them up you know in a room all together I just I thought that they liked to be together I don't know I thought my dolls and stuffed animals had feelings and personalities so I remember this one specific instance that I came home from my dad's house and they were scattered all over the different rooms which I never left them that way it was just not something I did or I would leave them like that and so I thought oh hey maybe one of my mom's friends and their one of my little their daughters one of my little friends came and played so I asked my mom I was like hey did anyone come over and play with my toys while I was gone and she was like no no one came over this weekend I was like well my dolls are completely moved around in their house you know so that was really freaky and I know that happened a couple other times I don't specifically remember which toys or instances but that happened a couple times where I would come home and think that someone played with my toys and my mom said no one was in my room so that kind of also 
also leads to that there might have been a little boy spirit. Again, it never anything aggressive. I think the most, like I said, the most aggressive thing was the doors opening and shutting by themselves. Oh, also, I do remember, so because we lived on the second floor, when you walked, you could hear like the floor creak with the weight distribution. I don't know if you've ever lived in a multi-story apartment, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. Like just the noise it makes when you're walking and shifting weight. And a lot of times my mom and I would be in the living room and we would hear that shifting noise like someone was walking on the floor but kind of back towards our bedrooms. So yeah, that is kind of everything I remember from that apartment. Now I'll go ahead and give you guys kind of an update of uh, I, I really don't wouldn't call it paranormal, but okay, I'll just tell you so if you watch gosh I don't even remember what video I mentioned it. Maybe it was the hubby tag that I did with Jesse I think we talked about it, but basically for the past couple months we have been finding bees Everywhere in our house, which it was it was the hubby tag because in that video I remember like kind of explained to you guys and Jesse at the same time like if you guys have ever seen Haley Reese's videos I know this was happening to her a lot and she's deathly allergic to bees which Haley Reese does lots of paranormal story times Like they're all paranormal story times her whole channel and a lot of people okay side note This is kind of funny and I keep seeing people ask me about this She actually has a sister named Julia and so I get a lot of people asking me, are you Haley's sister? Are you Haley's sister? And I was coming like, I wish, like she's so cool. I wish she was my sister, you know what I mean? So no, I'm not Haley Reese's sister. I'm not that Julia, but anyways. So when I mentioned that, I saw a couple comments saying that, hey, you know, bees kind of are a sign of paranormal activity. And lately for the past couple months, randomly, bees will just show up in our house. It's so weird and we can't figure out where it's coming from. Still, Jesse looked all outside our house. He even checked kind of in the neighbor's trees nearby to see if there's a hive. He checked the roof, he checked our cooler, like he's checked everywhere and we cannot find bees. We can't even hear any nearby because a lot of times if there's a hive, you can kind of hear, but there is no sign of a hive and they will just randomly pop up only in our living room. It's so weird. We never, thank God, we never find them in the rooms or anything like that. They're always in the kitchen or kind of in the living room. And the creepy thing is they're always in a weird state. We always, a lot of times we find them on the floor and they're just like, it's so weird. They're just like, I don't know, paralyzed or dazed and just, ugh. <laughs> I probably looked so funny, but they're always just either like, I don't know, just dying, you know what I mean? It's so weird. Or if they're flying, they're very slow. They're not aggressive at all. It's so weird. And we've tried everything. We've tried spraying, you know, we got some pet friendly natural bug spray and sprayed it all around our windows, like all around any cracks or anything like that inside. We've gotten a hardcore bug killer and sprayed it all around outside the house. Like we don't know where these bees are coming from. So again, I don't know if it's really paranormal, it's just something weird that's been happening and <laughs> the dogs are playing. But yeah, I figured I would let you guys know, like, we still haven't solved the bee case. Another weird thing that happened, which, ugh, I don't even remember which video I mentioned this in, but our forks were going missing and I guess I'll just retell the story really quick. So Jesse and I have lived together for about four years and we've lived in so many different houses, so many different apartments. Well, we've only lived in one apartment, but we've lived in about three different house areas together, different places together. And this is actually the first place we've ever lived that Jesse doesn't take his lunch to work. So all the, all three of the other places, he would take silverware and his lunch to work. And, oh, let me back Track. So when we first moved in together, we bought a set of silverware and you know how it comes with four bigger forks and four little forks. We both only like to use the big forks. That's not demons or ghosts. I swear it's the dog. So don't mind that. So we only use the big forks and 
the other three places we lived, Jesse took the forks to and from work. We always maintained all four forks. They never got lost. We've had them for the last three and a half years. No issues. As soon as we moved into this house in February, one went missing. And I was like, that's kind of weird, especially because he comes home for lunch in this house. So I was like, oh, that's weird. Didn't think anything of it. Then a second one went missing. And I was like, okay, where are the forks? So I asked him, I was like, are you taking the forks to work or something? Or do you know where the forks are? And he was like, no, I was wondering the same thing. I was going to ask you. So we looked everywhere. We're like, oh, what if one of the dogs got it? We looked everywhere under all the couches, under the beds, in the backyard. We looked everywhere and could not find it. So then I was like, okay, maybe Jesse misplaced it or one of us misplaced it, put it in the wrong spot, checked all the drawers, all the cabinets in our kitchen. We could not find these forks. Then by the end of March, which we had only been living here for like two months, all of them were gone. All of our big forks completely gone. What the heck? Like, it was so weird. And so then we started using the smaller forks and sure enough, the smaller forks started disappearing. I think we still have two or three of the small forks, but we ended up buying a huge package of like 10 big forks on Amazon, which I should probably count them to see if those start going missing. But again, I don't know if it's paranormal. I don't know. I haven't really gotten into like researching kind of, uh, I forgot what they're called. Elementals, I think, like gnomes and fairies and gremlins and things like that. I'm still not sure how I feel about them just because I haven't done a lot of research, but I don't know it. Like, I swear, it sounds like it's like, there's like a fork thief, thief a little gremlin thief and the weirdest thing is the video that I originally talked about the forks someone commented that the same exact thing was happening to them and it was the forks so what the heck comment down below if you know of anything that's known to steal forks as stupid and silly as that sounds but yeah it's just kind of weird and I don't know what's going on so yeah other than that in the TV thing which I made a video about that basically our TV was looking up odd things and it was just freaky you'll have to check it out I think I named it like a ghost communicated through our TV or something like that really really weird but other than that lately nothing's really been happening hopefully me recording this video inside is not going to attract anything or at least anything bad so yeah I'll keep you updated if you got through the end of this video and you're not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button I would love for you to become a part of my YouTube family like this video if you enjoyed today's story and don't let the bed bugs bite